everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I will be reviewing Fathead's Headhunter IPA. Fathead's is based out of Pennsylvania, but a few years ago they actually built a brew pub in North Olmsted, Ohio, and then within the last few months they built a brand new production brewery just 15 minutes away from me. So I am really looking forward to it. This bottle actually comes from the production brewery. Let's go ahead and crack into it. Uh, there's actually been a lot of hype around this beer the last few years, and rightfully so. I've had this on tap a few times, actually. And you want to serve this at about 50 degrees, and it is 7.5% ABV. So definitely on the high end for just a regular IPA. So, pours out a nice deep orange, golden hues, decent amount of carbonation, about two fingers of really fluffy white looking head. Looks good, let's go ahead and take our first sniff. Wow, right off the bat, a ton of hops, like piney, resinous, some definitely like grassy, earthy notes. Some citrus, grapefruit, a little bit like a lemon and orange peel. And just a touch of a bready biscuit malt and a little, little bit of caramel. But for the most part, this is definitely dominated by hops. So let's go ahead and take our first sip. Wow. Just like in the aroma, taste like just huge amount of like a massive hop flavors um you have piney resinous earthy type of hops you have uh, citrus floral tropical type of notes grapefruit a little bit of peach in there and then it's balanced out nicely around the end with a nice dry finish that has Really good amount of bready, biscuity type of malt. Just a touch of sweetness coming off from the uh, caramel. This is a mainly bitter beer, but it's definitely not overly bitter. Has a nice medium body. Uh, pretty kind of almost a slight, like a slightly creamy type of mouthfeel. Really crisp, clean, refreshing. Extremely easy to drink. You cannot taste or feel the seven and a half percent, nothing. I mean, if I was just, you know, handed this glass, I would assume eh, maybe five and a half percent, something like this, but yeah, this drink's really good. For a rating, I am going to go with a 4.3 on this one, guys. This is a really, really tasty, uh, kind of like a West Coast style IPA. It's got piney, resinous, um, hop flavors, there's a ton of citrus notes, peach, mango, um, you know, there's a decent amount of uh, bready biscuity malt in the background, a little bit of caramel sweetness coming off there, and you can't taste the alcohol. It's extremely drinkable, and it's not too expensive either. Um, I think it's about, what was it, maybe 9 or 10 for a, um, a four pack, so not bad at all. And if you can find this one, I would say definitely try and pick it up. All right, um, that does it for this beer review, guys. And remember, if you want to see any particular beer reviewed, just leave me a comment and I will try and get to that. All right, I'm going to get back to enjoying this beer, and I hope whatever you're doing involves getting craft beer. See ya.